what is this? I think I found love within Deep inside your heart and soul Oh, oh, oh yeah hey, oh, oh, what is this? I think I found love within Deep inside your heart and soul Oh, oh, oh yeah Hey, now tell me, do you want me, baby? Now tell me, do I drive you crazy? Now tell me, do I make you go, oh, oh, ha, oh. <laughs> well, hello there. How are you doing, you with your very cutesy toe beans? That's right, I'm talking to you, Stefano. How are you doing, Stefano? Oh my, Stefano. Welcome in, Stefano, and all the other ladies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome in you as well. You smell amazing, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Today, I have something super exciting in store. My god, I found a new subreddit. It's called r slash furry IRL, and it's like very quirky. And it's like a community. I have no freaking clue what it's about. So I figured um, we would explore it together. Enjoy. Mwah. And if you like me looking at new subreddits like this and being all experimental and shizzle, consider subscribing to the channel to so sh show your support <laughs> for this absolute debauchery. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, ding! Huh? Hey, you busy today. Wanna go get pizza? My treat. Oh, you don't have to treat me. I'm down for pizza, though. You're right. I don't have to, but I will anyway. And that is a threat. The kind of threat you should send to all your friends. My god. I don't have to buy you pizza, but I will buy you pizza. Make sure to treat your friends to something small and nice. It's often about the gesture and not the size of it. And it can make someone feel so appreciated and make someone's day just oh, light up so nicely. It's a beautiful thing. Eh, hold the frick up. I'm the frick up. Hold me! <laughs> That's just relatable! This is so good! Oh my god! I am also an absolute stain on society. Nice! You, uh, wanna go out sometime? Uh, yes! A few weeks later, love is in the air and in the butts, sorry. Um, wholesome vibes only on this channel. I freaking love eating fiber optic cable, sharks! You suck! <laughs> Oh my god, are they just stealing internet? Is that what this is all about? You know when you have like a shady neighbor that just leeches on your internet? This is the same thing, but like sharks. POV, you are now your fursona. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Oh, how, how nice. Otherwise people would assume things in the comments about me. How nice I don't have to worry. <sighs> so what did you lot get up to doing the shutdown? I published my first indie game. I discovered my hidden passion for the culinary arts. <laughs> I turn into a furry. Ah, very nice. A fellow creature of culture, if I may say so myself, while I awkwardly adjust sound settings while smoothly talking, which I don't have to do because this isn't live, but <laughs> I'm, own I'm owning it. <laughs> oh god, I suck. I cannot wait to see this image in history textbooks. Starbucks coffee. Union, yes! Oh, that is so good. Oh my god. You have fair working conditions. Salaries, fluffiness, and toe beans. Uh, universe. Complete. Furries carefully giving their OC the thickest thighs. Yes, you have to be very careful. This is the kind of thing where it becomes so thick that the gravity just implodes on itself. And it's a thigh supernova. Elon Musk is now officially the owner of the largest platform for furry naughties in the world. Wait, there's naughties on here? You poor, innocent child, you. <laughs> ah, luckily, I have no clue what that is. I am just laughing along so I don't seem awkward, which I do anyway. Imagine an Australian fanboy, Lemau. Oh, for it's true, mate, I can't. Find me striped thoi hoist. Pounces on your bulgiri do. Oi, crikey, what's this? Over. <laughs> Over. It's a kangaroo. Ha ha ha. With thai hoist. Oh, uh, yeah. Clean my freaking house. I don't pay y'all to be gay. It's outrageous. It's the gay agenda. I wish I had furry friends. Oh. Yay! Make sure you find people that can relate to you with every level in your life. Part of your person fulfilled, because we are complex little lumps of flesh. Furries are suspiciously rich. I myself became a furry in order to find out where they get their money from. Did it work? Uh, not yet. I, I did become bisexual. I came looking for copper and I found gold. I heard your comps are open, but I don't have any money. Can you draw me for free? Sure. I like a headshot, please. <laughs> I can do. Hold still. <laughs> Ridding the world of one pest at a time. They're obviously not the real furry because they're not suspiciously rich. Ding! I wish for cars, money, boats, and banks. 
I wish for this dragon that is themed after a specific brand that I don't know what it is, but you know, it's... Next meme, please. Furries, when the anthropomorphic bipedal wolf designed by freak genetic science eats them alive instead of doing character in OZ poses and freaking them- No! The dream was so close, but just out of reach. Zara, I, I don't get it. How is it just a t-shirt, a good Halloween costume? Wait, wait, who are you supposed to be? <laughs> I'll show you later. It's all the internet fantasies just exploding. Comment section, please calm down for God's sake. Boy, it sure is late. Sleep time. Shut, 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 restarting, mess click. Ah! <laughs> oh! Those extra 30 seconds when you want to be in bed. It's the most painful 30 seconds ever. I, I despise this. Ah, <sighs> sob! Hey, hey, what's wrong? I love receive so much affection until I'm at home. Please don't ever leave me. There, there. I won't, baby. Oh, that's oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, sometimes it is like that in life. You have to go through multiple partners' relationship to realize what you want. And also realize when things are wrong. Because it can be very hard to put things into perspective when it's your first time, first relationships, or when you're young and naive and hormones are all over the place. It's important. Take your time to figure out who you are and what you want. And it can take time. That is perfectly okay. Nobody else should be able to rush you about that. Yay, we're so wholesome today. Oh my god. Fired by Starbucks, union organizer now wears his fursuit to rallies. It gave me more confidence than I've ever had in my entire life, said former Overland Park Starbucks employee Michael Vestigo. That is glorious. Just freaking... Oh, I love how the little hat is like hanging on the ear as well. That is adorbs. My god. No puppies. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Your dates here, are you ready? Haha! <laughs> oh, Lucario. Is that- Is that a Kirby lump in the- Oh my god, and there's also the forbidden hugs. You know when you get stabbed both in the chest and in the crotch by your partner? What? I think it's kinda cool that I can scare an entire generation by kissing my boyfriend in public. <laughs> it's the agenda. Oh. It's like those boomers that are like, But the, the guys are kissing in this movie, think about the kids! The kids have seen people kissing in movies for like decades. Chill, super furry! Is this that Starbucks that like went union and branched off? That would have been amazing. My god, I would go here. I mean, uh, I... Unironic, ironically, un I would go here. Shout out to the Dark Souls boss, lost in a furry con. <laughs> that is so out of place! <laughs> Or maybe it's a security guard that's just like owning it. Like, I'm gonna dress up as well. I don't give a frick frack. Lol, got my driver's license picture taken in a fursuit. They don't give a shite anymore. I mean, at least you took the, the top off. Otherwise, it would have been wild. Humor back then. Then the guy said, I'm from Colorado. <laughs> Humor now. E. <laughs> Dude, what the frick? Ah! <laughs> Humor is really evolving into levels of complexity I can barely comprehend. It's like when you have this graph that's something like Boomer humor, I hate my wife. Uh, millennial humor, I hate my life. Zoomer humor, egg. Oh, gorgeous. Freaking love it. I'm so proud of the generation coming, coming after us. I wonder what the next generation humor is going to be. Can you imagine when like Zoomer humor is like ye olden shite on the block? That's going to be wild. Not sure I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be very hard to comprehend for me olden brain. Man, I love my noodles. Sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> Star Fox actor comes out of retirement for a Half-Life 2 mod that replaces Alex with Smexy Blue Fox. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yes, the thing to quit retirement for. Worth it, baby. Uh, I'm here. Are you close? Hey? Wait, is this the one? Oh no. Did they break up after the pizza or is this before the pizza? Maybe it's the wrong way around. I'm gonna assume it's before the pizza and I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. You know, you guys are always like, wah, I am not cute. Wah, <laughs> frick that, I am adorable. Yeah. Here is guy looking the upgrade perfect per fact. It would have been a perfect pun if this was a cat. How I like my women. Ah, oh, professional business setting. How I like my men. Professional business setting. Let's get down to business. Hey, could you help me move some furniture this weekend? Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. In fact, you don't need to ask me once. <laughs> Just assume that I already said no. Yeah, get bribed into moving people. It's like, you can get a pizza after 12 hours of unpaid labor. Friendship. I'm not a furry bot. Mm-hmm. The Bad Guys was an incredible film. You don't want to get into the... <laughs> the hot ones... <laughs> He knows he has been to the depths and back, getting pulled down to the hellish, fluffy 
hellhole of hell. London has fallen. The Elwell coming soon. Oh dear god, it's already happening. Me. I never really understand why Italians get so dramatic over poorly cooked pasta. Also me. Don't you get how you cook rice? Yay, childhood! I love childhood! We adulthood no death! Ah! Th this is like unironically accurate. Why would. Uh, okay, anyway, yes. Today's existential crisis. Check. A furry species ranked by how difficult it would be to take them anywhere. And taking my dear boyfriend for a hike in the woods, and he hears the twig break and bounces off into the trees, never to be seen again. Relationships are are difficult. When your stick breaks, that hurts you both. Protogens can't the kiss. Protogens do a little forehead spark like volley. Oh, oh, that's cute. Man, you can really feel the tension. The sparks are flying, so to say. Man, this relationship is just. Charged. <laughs> ah. Dude, furries are so smart. Every time one commissions me and leaves a massive tip, I check out their social media pages to see what they do for a living, and it's always shite like, top senior NASA engineer literally invented the concept of the universe. God, I love butt. It's like the beautiful, it's like yin and yang. It's, it's butt and NASA. Isn't that just gorgeous? Huh? When did I get a tattoo? Oh, it's Twitter, Borb, babe. Borb. So so sorry. Yes. Sorry, mommy. I'm sorry, mom. mom sorry, mom. So, God, Twitter. Gamers, when there is a chest behind the waterfall. How original. Gamers, when there isn't a chest behind the waterfall. I am sad and wet now. Hmm, we all want to be moist in our video games. Pinky blonky bling la 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 la. Huh? You sing very cutely. Knock! <laughs> that was always a horror when you started playing an instrument as like a teenager and you always had to watch and no one was listening. The horror. I did a foop, but I'm still a sad. Oh no, now I'm sad and tired. Makara's heard there are humans out there who wish they could be animals. How strange. And not just animals, but walking, talking animals. You know, like you? Oh my god, I got so accused of being something when, when I did like a Khajiit playthrough in Skyrim on stream. God damn it. Chess sets be like little peasant, little tower, little king, little queen, little little, little horse. That is the horse. Get out of my freaking inbox being horny for the horse chess piece. But that's how we do it, baby. Quit. <laughs> Horsing around. There we go. That was deep down inside. I would like to unironically play a chess game like this, though. When every piece is so freaking vanilla, apart from, like, one piece, they're just shredded and overly detailed. And you just act like nothing is wrong, like everything is normal. Ayo, burb! Wearing this to graduation, he will never do it. Yay! I love these oldie meme formats. I remember back in 2010 when this was the norm. I had, like, a 9gag app and just scrolled rage comic memes. So good. Uh, could you help me in my room? Oh, for sure. Come on! Harder! Open oh, push! Oh, frick! So much for just being roommates, <laughs> am I right? <sighs> Those ones suck But Oh my god, they never fit! It is incredible! I mean, they never come off once you get them on, but dear god! You can just hide all your money on top of your bed and just strap this on top of it and no one will ever reach it or want to touch it. Glorious. Everyone wants a dragon GF until you get into an argument with her and she does this. <laughs> Hashtag, are you okay, donkey? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, he died. Eh, uh, hello. Thanks for cleaning my house. You can now resume to being gay. Woo! You see, everyone is happy. Yes, indeed. The agenda subsided. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Oh, oh. Rah! Oh, yes, indubitably. Duncan and Eddie. Look, love, they're hiring. You've been looking for work, haven't you? Why not apply here? Nah, I don't know, Eddie. What's wrong? Well, uh, then I wouldn't get to spend as much time with you. Ha <laughs> ha, Duncan. You just don't want to work, don't you? Yeah, that too. It's a cute excuse. Just let him live his lazy life. Boobs or butt? Mm, pee pee. <laughs> it's like that, that freaking video. Do you like tall girls or short girls? Uh, men. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yep. Yeah. He's straight to the point. Straight to the point. Don't think so. <laughs> what he sees, ah, oh, what she sees, blarp. But it's beautiful. We love each other. 
the way we are. And noses are amazing. They are the nipple of the face. It even has a ring in it. I mean, it's it's all just coming together. Don't at me. I, I won't take criticism. I <laughs> literally just talk to her. I, I can't do. She's so far out of my league. If she says no, I'll let you put it in my butt. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> do you have so much fur? Do you really need a hoodie? Uh, not really, but wearing mine makes me feel smack me. Wow. It also has friend pockets, which is nice. Hello. Can't you just fly? This is better. I get rides. He gets called a good boy. I... I do like that. Oh, this is adorable. Yes, why can't we just live in this universe? Thank you. Eh, I will we shall we go? What would you do? Uh, it's okay, loony heart. Do the furry smexies, winky emoji, send her to Brazil. What does that say? Omfgaluna, you freaking sloot. <laughs> okay. The internet is a weird place, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Dula, you can't just throw car batteries into the ocean. You're totally freaking up the environment. Right, I'm doing it because I'm lazy and not for other reasons. <laughs> Soon we shall have enough power to invade the mainland. The eels. It was the eels all along. Eh, oh man, salad again. Hey, toaster, make some toast. You wedged weenus, we can't make toast. We're small, we make croutons. Blah. It's gorgeous, it's just like puppies in real life. Puppies are be like, oh, I ate this thing. I threw it up, it's po probably poisonous. Mm, but what if I eat it now when it's thrown up? Nom 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 nom, oh bleh. What if I try again? It do be like that, but between friends. Friends eat each other's barf. <laughs> I, I, I gotta ask, is that your real face? The frick does that mean? That's not how to break ice in a conversation like, Hey, is, is that your real face? Unusual. You. Me. Consensually. Only if you want. Please. Friend, why do you always have lunch at McDonald's? Me for the service. The service. Here's your guest. In the happy meal today, the toy is thigh highs. Just learned there's a fanboy pride flag. That is beautiful. I wish um, I wasn't a bit colorblind, because I struggle to tell flags apart. I, I'm just taking people's word for this point. Sometimes I have to send flags like to one topic in DMs and be like, Hey, uh, which flag is this? I can't tell the colors apart. <laughs> Payday! Oh my god, it's Dergy Wurgy! I haven't seen a Derg in the wild in so long, man. My day just went... I mean, I've never been here before. What? What is a Derg? It's such a mystery. Let's find out together, shall we? Detective Click is on this. And payday. Patreon. <gasps> Taxes, rent, loan payment, groceries, utilities... No! <gasps> no! And left with a little, little money. Even the sign. <gasps> oh no, the Derg! Oh, your poor little Derg. Hey, uh, what is E621? Monosodium glutamate. Exam. And why do I write the furry artwork site for Oh god. When your brainicles are uh, why is coffee making me burpy? I swear to god. It's when your brainicles get scrambled. There we go. Me when the eh. Me when the eh. My nature as a mass perfectionist and desire for each post to do better than the last has caused me to prioritize user engagement over my own enjoyment in my art, and causing me great anxiety in posting anything. Sorry for the vent, Lamau. This is so true, my god. Here on YouTube, they have even implemented a tool which says which if your video, like, 1 out of 10, which rating it has. And if you get a 1 out of 10, which means your best performing video out of the last 10 ones, you even have little fireworks. Yeah, in your dashboard. It's like, woo! Yay, yeah, you! And if it does slightly worse than you, so it's like, oh my god, you suck, why do you even do this? And it's easy to start over-focusing on, on the numbers, because that's how we humans work. We like attention, we like validation, we like money, we like all these kind of things to come with it. And it's very easy that it just turns into like this weird money high score game, and the reason why you started doing it in the first place is drowned out. My best tip for it that I've figured out so far is sometimes to just take a step back. Like, remove the apps on your phone, for example, so you don't check on it all the time. And and do your creative work offline, so to say. Um, that, that can be very helpful. When you just, like, sit by yourself or with friends and you create something, you have fun, but you don't look at the numbers all the time. Th that actually helps quite a bit with the anxiety. Because the truth is that once you have built something up, the daily numbers don't matter as much. Once you have a following, or once you do this, or even if you don't aim to do it as a job, but it's like a hobby, your ability to create something and have people appreciate it and get attention when it is created, or when you put extra effort into something, far outweighs, you know, having to have engagement every single day. So don't put that pressure on yourself. It's unrealistic and it's not healthy. And even if it's what the platform tells you that you should do, 
no, it's not good. It makes people burn out. So take care of yourself. Guys, literally only want one thing and it's feckin' Discoos Tang. Look at that. It's so gross. Oh, Discoos Tang. They're probably not even married before booping the Tobins. Ah, welcome to Poland. Select your class. Jane Smoker Magister. Depressed Gay Furry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the two genders. This is like if you play Polish Skyrim. And you're like, would you like to be this or this gender? They're both very quirky. I shall eternally protect my great island from the forces of darkness and evil. Literally just the traffic median. But if you set the bar low, you you might still fail. Trying is the first step towards failure. <laughs> Ah, we're inspirational here. Micro USB, USB C, uh, USB A, ah, USB B, ah, parallel core port cable. Oh my God! This is referring to like your your effort of plugging it into your own computer, and it's like tricky and tricky. Manager, the Easter Bunny we hired just got arrested. Quick, does anyone have a bunny costume? Chad, I think Kaylee does. Kaylee. Um. Um. Hey kid. Hey kids! I wonder what the reaction would be. That would be hilarious to see. Oh dear. It's literally 70 degrees right now. I miss winter. You're a dragon. You breathe fire. But, but he's so warm and poopy. Love everyone, no matter what. But even if they're furries- Did I freaking stutter? I remember that in Psalm... <laughs> Love thy furry. Art style and fan art. Comics. Animation. <gasps> wow! Ownerless garlic bread! Yes, it's mine! Ugh, I wake up like an anime, and I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you stole the garlic bread, and you didn't hear comes death. Man buys a hate group's domain and turns it into a gay furry site! <laughs> That's how you do it. My god, that is such a nice play. I love this. Oh, this gives me life juice. Not that kind of life juice. Mind out of gutter, please. Yes, thank you. Your fourth emoji is what you look like during the naughties. Eh. Oh, I, I can't explain, I swear. No, you you, you can't explain, but the explanation is the reason why you <clears throat> why, why you shouldn't um, explain it. No, this is your bulge. Uh, well, what says Holy shit! German police pulls Python out of man's pants after noticing considerable bulge. <laughs> were they just patting him down because they were impressed? Like, uh, sir, you... You are totally under arrest. I need to pat you down and investigate your ball jaw. Oh, it was a snack all along. My day has really had a turn of events. I am severely flabbergasted. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll get used to it. Oh dear, yeah, I, I can I can imagine. Um, being a character of these characteristics would indeed be very quirky in seeing yourself being portrayed on the internet. There we go. Dogs. <laughs> and too obvious when they're happy. Waggy, 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 waggy. Cats. <gasps> we are refined. Sneaky. You're purring. <laughs> it's not very sneaky. No, it's not at all. Ash, lovey dovey. Nah, don't worry. Hello, my love. Bonjour, mamor. Bonjour. I lied. We're a bit lovey dovey. Yeah, sorry. Ugh, I can't wait for it to be autumn. Finally, I'll be able to wear my cool outfits. Autumn. Literally just a hoodie. That's so me. I'm like, yeah, I can't wait for like to get colder so I can select a wider array of cool jackets. It's like, oh, I have one jacket I like. When posting a meme on Twitter. <laughs> when posting a meme on Reddit. Oh, my meme sucks. <laughs> but then you made a successful meme about your meme sucking. You see, if you can turn your own suckiness into content, then you're set. That's basically what I do. Hugging. Hug me. What do you think, Como? Huh? Please. Silly boy. Too much social media again. Yeah, log off Twitter. Twitter's a cesspool. It like mental health and Twitter. Dust like this. Twitter. Mental health. It's it the correlation is like completely a hundred percent reversed. It's horrible. Leaf T Zodig Wa Eminen Eb O T O T What are you doing in my meme? Dear God, get out of here. Want some chocolates? Uh, Thank you, but aren't we wolves? Yes, this is a threat. You want some chocolates? <laughs> I'll do that easy peasy. You mean easy peasy lemon squeezy? Hmm? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Actually, that would be a great name for a lemonade little stand. I lost him. The mascot with a lemon with a straw. It will be drinking its own juice. We'll target thirsty tourists with our organic and refreshing lemonade. You know, I just like lemonade, right? Oh, we can sell coffee then. 
Only we need a fancy machine. Easy peasy lemon coffee. <laughs> Easy peasy grindy bean. <gasps> oh, that's good. Oh my god, I almost nailed it. My god, my business is done. YouTube, goodbye. Coffee stand, here I come. 2018 and age 15. Man, I want to draw girls better when I'm older. 2022, age 19. Casually drawing thick fanboy scribble scribble. <laughs> More curves. Gotta know exactly who you are. The uh -huh. name's Blythe. Lord have mercy. Mm. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Yes, yes. You must, you must become the Elden Lord for, for, to, to properly secure the, the wolf BF. Me about to kiss Mr. Wolf. My alarm clock. <laughs> I hate that. Why do you always wake up when you're, like, building up to the best moment of your dream? It's such a scam. God, why do our brains suck so bad? Imagine, if you could invent a machine that would, like, generate a continuation to the nice dreams that get interrupted, you would be a bajillionaire in no time. Those glasses look so cute on you. You look adorable. I would rather be blind. <laughs> Duncan and Eddie. Hi, Mom. They just called. I got the job. <gasps> Look at you, my baby Duncan's all grown up getting a job. I'm so proud. Squeeze. <coughs> Mom? <coughs> Is he getting mauled? It's called love. Oh, the love mauling. Hey, kid doggy. Hmm. Am I not worthy? It's like with Avengers. You can only lift us if you are indeed worthy. But like with puppies. Oh my god, it just feels worse. Where do foxes usually gather at conventions? The bottom floor. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. You losers are telling me that you don't have personas. Muscle man, before you ask again, take one good look at us. Oh, that's beautiful. You can have a skin sona where you just dress up as people. Nice. School IRL. Okay, what is this? This is homework? Culture month. Design your fursona. Your fursona is male, female, non-binary, fur scales, feathers, furries, word search. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I found Robin Hood right away at the bottom. <laughs> hey there, little man. Aren't you just precious with your skateboard? <laughs> Have you lost your mommy? What? No, I I'm 20. What, Pat Pat? Shh, 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 shh. I could be your mommy, you know, if you let me. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? Mm, I can be your lifeguard. A kobold excitedly runs up to you and yipping, Look what I can do! The kobold concentrates really hard for a few moments, and you look up in horror as the sun explodes. This could be a good start to D&D &D adventure. And it could just be eternal night, and you have to like figure out how to restore the sun or something. Oh my god. And you have to always have a torch or something when you move around, like you're... Vision is zero. That's such a fun game twist. I love this. So just at a casual fur convention, spy. No one will tell it's me. I love that. In Team Fortress 2, the spy just has like a little, <laughs> little mask on. <laughs> just it's drawn on, and nobody notices. Oh, yeah, he belongs. It's fine. Living with anxiety. Ah, 7:45 a.m. Come on, speed up! I'm going to be late. When you take medication. Hey, uh, what time is it? 8:05. Ah, all right. Wake me up once me arrive, thanks. That is- oh, that's so nice. Oh, anxiety sucks. The two political parties. Rule 34, E621. I would watch that debate. That would be so much better than any kind of presidential debate. Dear my god, they suck. This would be amazing. Oh my god. Can we vote for it as well? Please? I mean, I have no clue what any of this is. <laughs> Every time I say, I don't know, and my therapist says, I think you do know. I do know it's like it. Learn how to make a friend. All you need, a person you want to be friends with. First, go to the chat function and say hi. You don't need to type hi, Tim, because you have anxiety. And you ruin your chance to get a friend. Your life just like making a friend. You would not nothing do with it. You always want to get to yourself and never try to get your worthless fur. You can't do anything about even making a friend. I think a key when it comes to finding people in general, whether it be friends or romantic partners or whatever it be, is don't pressure yourself too hard. The best way I have found friends and that kind of stuff is when it happens without you really thinking about it. You just go to a place where you both happen to be. Like you both go to the same evening class or you do the same sport or you show up to the same school or workplace, whatever it might be. And if it clicks, it clicks. Going out there with the pressure like, hey, I have to find someone right now, 
it does put a lot of pressure on you. Instead, go to go do something you enjoy that involves more people or meeting up at a public place, and then if it happens, it happens. Um, it's a very relaxed way to go about it that might relieve some of the pressure. Cringetopia! Now under new fussy management, oh well. Yeah, Cringetopia has been like a war zone. It is nuts. <laughs> I have not even been able to keep up with everything going on. I've just been <laughs> at a very far distance just... Oh yeah, this is a disaster. <laughs> Oh boy, time to get blamed for something we had no part in again. They're trying to nuke the subreddit and get everyone go to their website. I guess this is their plan on how to make everyone else leave. Yeah, that's that's a little bit depressing, just blaming people that have nothing to do with it. Just, ah, oh, this is this is so good. What a nice strategy. Let's make let's make everyone pissed. <laughs> Woo! I'm so tired these days. It's gonna be okay. Hang in there. And you deserve rest. It is okay. R slash furry. Oh god, the frick. Oh, look at that. A miscellaneous furry IRL video that some YouTuber made. Ha, <laughs> couldn't have been me. What is this comment? Why are most of these memes gay? What the frick happened to straight furries like me? <laughs> oh, 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 that's a good joke. Mango is being judged for his crimes. Oh my, Mango. This was apparently taken in 2020. That's very suspicious. But Mango. Oh my god, what did you do this time? Little silly war criminal. When me and my friend have a furry profile picture and we're playing a video game with a bunch of 12 year olds as teammates. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. It's so beautiful. I love cutscenes like this that take place inside the actual game because so much good stuff can happen. It's amazing. <laughs> Why does one of them just have a minigun? <laughs> Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, thank you so much for watching this video with me, you beautiful bean. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day because you deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Yeah!